Hey guys, it's Mira Lee in Delicious Delights. Today I'll be reviewing Atelier des Ors Lune Feline. This is what the bottle looks like here. So it's a very pretty bottle. It's a very unique looking bottle. Uh, but what's most unique about this one is there are gold flakes that are floating around in the juice there, which I think is kind of extra, but I think it's pretty cool at the same time. So Lune Feline, I have the sample here, but I have gone through a decant of this one. It's pretty hyped in the community, I would say. It's pretty popular. Um, and I'll let you guys know whether I personally think it's worth the hype or not. Now I'll quickly just spray it on here. Yeah, okay, so what do I get out of Lune Feline? The first thing that I think of is a smoky leather scent. Leather is not listed in the notes here. I'll just read out the notes later on. But for me, I get a smoky leather with a gorgeous sweet vanilla and also some other sweet notes that remind me of caramel or butterscotch. So basically what I'm thinking of is a warm piece of leather and then you're just drizzling some caramel and vanilla and butterscotch on top so maybe with those caramel and butterscotchy notes uh, you might assume that it's thick and cloying and maybe overwhelming but actually it's not at least on my skin it doesn't feel sticky like a caramel or butterscotch would but I do get that scent of caramel and leather and a beautiful smoky trail that it leaves. Also with Lune Feline, there's this gorgeous spiciness that I get. It's a dark spicy cinnamon. There's also cardamom in here as well. And yeah, it just makes it smell like it's kind of foody, but then there's that leathery smokiness that makes it not foody at the same time. For me, it's a leathery gourmand and maybe a touch of booze in here as well. And then some spices sprinkled on top. I think that this is an amazing scent. It was just one that has stuck in my mind for many years. I'm not really sure why I haven't reviewed this one earlier, but yeah, I have loved this since my very first sniff. It was a love at first sniff for me. And yeah, I think it's so, so yummy and sexy and deep and dark and mysterious, especially with that nice smoky note in here. So in the dry down of Lune Feline, what I'm left with is a spicy, woody, vanilla musk scent. It's very smooth. And I also get a touch of incense in here as well that sits behind all of these gourmandy and leathery notes. Um, but it's definitely there. And I just think it is absolutely stunning. Do I want a bottle of this? Kind of, yes. <laughs> it actually does remind me of another scent that I already own though. Maybe that's why I haven't gotten a bottle of this one yet. It's not exactly like this other scent, but it does remind me of it. And, it, and I would say it's kind of in the same family. And it's from Zerjoff Kasamarati and it's called Lyra. Here's my cute little 30 ml bottle of Lyra. And Lyra is another spicy, vanilla, cinnamony kind of scent. I also get the caramel in this one here as well. So I would say it's a lot sweeter than the Lune Feline, but in the same family for sure. The Lyra is more gourmand, more caramel, more sweet. And then the Lune Feline is just, oh, it has that beautiful like incense -y smoke thing going on. Is it worth the hype? In my opinion, 100%. Uh, 
I might get a bottle of this one day. But yeah, I really, really, really enjoy Lune Feline from Atelier des Ors. Now I'll quickly read out the notes. Top notes are cardamom, cinnamon, and pink pepper. The middle notes are woody notes, ambergris, styrax, cedar, and green notes. And the base notes are Tahitian vanilla, Peru balsam, and musk. So yeah, that was my quick review of Lune Feline from Atelier des Ors. If you have tried this, I would love to hear your opinion on it and whether or not you think it's worth the hype. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.